Hi, everybody. It's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thank you so much for coming to my video today. We're going to have a look at my eBay sales over the past not quite two weeks, I don't think. More like a week and a half or something like that. We've been selling on eBay since 1998. We have three different eBay IDs, but we only discuss one of them here, the Funky Pickle Store. I also want to mention that buyers pay shipping. So on top of the prices you're going to see, buyers pay their own shipping. And that's about it. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. About a month ago or so, I went to a yard sale and I spent $300 on a lot of new merchandise. So the first three items will be items from that yard sale. I'm already in the money, so this is all pure profit. So we have three light switch covers. Here's the first one. I took a best offer of $18. I think I may have had them up for $21.99 or something. So I thought $18 was very reasonable. They're solid brass and the name brand is SPI. So I sold the Hummingbird one. I also sold this crane one, double light switch, and I think a single one. Yeah, and then this single one that I sold for $16. That was one of my favorite ones. I really like that one. So great prices on those, easy to ship. I bought this item at a yard sale a few weeks ago, and I thought it was interesting. I had never heard of such a thing, but sometimes Bath & Body Works stuff sells. And this is one of those touchless bathroom soap or kitchen soap dispensers. And you put a battery in it. It's kind of a cool item. It's been gently used. And I'm also including that partial uh, peach Bellini smart soap. So I think I paid $5 for this. I have another one too with a few refills that I have to get around to putting up. But anyway, I sold this one for $40. My mother stumbled on some real gold at a yard sale, and this was, I think, the first thing that I sold for her. This is a little solid 14 karat gold charm. I sold it for $41. This company is DZ. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who that is or what the history is, but they have pretty good value. This is actually a very cool item. $41. What a great price, right? She didn't pay much for it, so we're very happy with that. I've had this one for a long while. I'm not sure where I got this or what I paid for it, but this is another solid 14 karat gold piece. This is a pendant or a pin. How cute is that? I love dragonflies. Now the name on this is MB and I don't know who that is either. So pretty though, right? Wow. Love that. So I'm showing the mark right there. Don't know where I got it or what I paid for it, but I sold it for $140. Here's another charm from my mother's haul. So we sold this one for $50. Cat stuff always seems to be collectible, right? And this uh, is a, marked MA, and that stands for Michael Anthony. It's some nice size, right? Almost an inch. Cute little item, I think. So she didn't pay much and sold it for $50. Oh, how beautiful is this item? I actually got this in a thrift store for a couple of dollars recently. I think last week I put it up right away. So this is marked 800, which means it's not, not um, sterling silver, but it's 800 silver, which means 80% silver. And this is a nice old one. This is called a panel bracelet. Well, a panel link bracelet either because each of those panels is linked. Each of those uh, hand carved shell cameos, they're all a little bit different. How cute is that? So nice. So this has a gold wash on it. There's the mark. I don't think I could make out who the maker was. And I'm just showing there that the light went through it to prove that, you know, it is in fact real shell. Seven inches long. So that's a great price, right? I'm really happy with this. So I paid $2 for this one and I sold it for a hundred. The only other one up that I saw on eBay was for three fifty. dollars So I think this is a really great price for a lovely antique bracelet. I love buying CDs on the Rhino label and that's what these are right here. There's a set of five. I think the original set did have more. It's called Girl Grooves. Some really great girl group stuff here. I love all the girl groups. Yeah, Dusty, Supremes, of course, Chiffons, Shirelles, and so on. So I got these for a dollar each at a yard sale and I sold them for 40. 
I just bought this little girl's flannel nightgown in a thrift store a couple of weeks ago. I think I paid a dollar or two for it, but it's so cute. It has all the Halloween stuff on it. It is an official, uh, an official Disney product. And it also had its tag. So yeah, paid $2, um, I don't know, maybe $3, something like that, and sold this one for 27 I got this Japanese celluloid Kobe charm as part of a lot at an auction recently. So Kobe charms are these items that were meant to go around a celluloid ring and to be held by string, and you'd have a whole bunch of them together. I just had the one. The color's very unusual on this. I couldn't find one quite like it. And the eyes pop out, <laughs> as you can see. Look how small it is. Just a little half inch thing, but really adorable. So hard to say what I paid for it because it was part of a lot that I bought at an auction, but I sold it for $21.99. I think this may have been a yard sale find. And I certainly was thinking this was a valuable thing because it was new on its card. It's clearly from the 60s, probably. And I think it's really adorable. So it's a mistletoe bell. It's all plastic. Just kind of a kitschy, fun thing. I think I paid a dollar for this one and I sold it for $12.99. Some of you may remember this from a large jewelry haul I got over the summer that had mostly J. King jewelry, Desert Rose uh, trading. And this is kind of killer. This is a uh, carved rhodochrosite and there are turquoise accents. It's on sterling silver. How beautiful is that? I love this dusty rose color. A little bit adjustable. So I'm already in the money on this estate sale um, haul, big time. So this one is pure profit, sold it for 75. This is a beautiful Fede Gimel ring. It's sterling silver. Fede means two hands clasped in friendship or love. And Gimel means that it comes apart like so. Look at that, three different parts. And there's a hidden heart, which I just think is so great. I love that. That's a very interesting item. Now, I bought this in a in a pawn store. I'm trying to think what I paid for it. Um, I think I bought three things in that store for $50, but one of them was a little uh, antique 14 karat gold ring, so which I haven't sold yet. So anyway, um, I don't know. Say this was $12 or something like that, and I took a best offer on this one for $44. Cute item. So about two weeks ago or so, my mom and I were at a, an estate sale where these two brothers were trying to sell the contents of their mother's home so that they could sell it. And she was an avid doll collector. She also had a lot of yarn. I also got some kind of cool video games, you know, some really cool video games there. But here's just an exquisite little doll. This is by a company called Kish. And her name was Penelope. She has all of her information there. It's a limited edition. I don't know if you can see that, but I believe that's 185 out of only 300 made. So her dress, I think her, yeah, her dress had some, uh, it just needed to be freshened up. It needed to be washed and I don't dare do it because I don't know how to do it and I didn't want to shrink it or anything like that. So I just uh, disclosed it. So we're totally in the profit. I think we're up to over $1,000 net profit on that yard sale. So this one is a little bit more profit added into that. So sold this one for $75. So beautiful. I love this necklace so much. This is by a company called Miracle. Miracle Jewelry Company started in the 1940s, I believe, and they specialize in Irish, Scottish, and Celtic pieces. So this must be a reproduction of some old piece or just in the style of. But how pretty. That's all glass, by the way. What a beautiful stone. I put check like because it does kind of look like one of those vintage check necklaces. Wow. Look how big it is too, right? Really big pendant. I think I found this in a thrift store for a couple of dollars and I sold it for 35 This is a recent thrift store find, believe it or not. This is solid 10 karat gold and pear-shaped garnets. And isn't it breathtaking? How pretty. I wanted to take a picture from the side so you could see those stones aren't all like flat or anything. This was a really nicely made piece. I don't think it was signed by the maker, which is interesting. Nice weight too, 3.6 grams. And there it is from the back. How beautiful is that item? Paid a couple dollars, sold it for 150.
this beautiful old ring is an estate sale find. Now I paid $20 for the whole haul. I was with my mother, so I'm going to split the money uh, on this one. Originally, I thought it was hers, but it is actually one that we had bought together when I looked back in my records. So I'm not sure how old this one is. Some people had the same one up and they said it was Victorian, but I don't really know. I can't guarantee that. So that's why I put Victorian with a question mark. It is onyx. It is a solid 10 karat gold. This kind of ring, of course, is called a signet ring. Look at that weight, 4.44 grams. In very nice condition. And look at that really old fashioned stylized S. Really pretty item. So um, yeah, maybe we paid $5 for this one and we sold this for $152.55. We've been getting very, very lucky lately between the kind of yarn and the doll place and then this other place where we got some gold. And then my mother had just gotten a lot of gold. Uh, that's probably going to like slow down for a while now because we've had this kind of lucky streak. You know, I mean, I hope not, but this isn't something that happens all the time. We've just been getting very lucky lately. Time Life CDs are always a good bet. I bought these for a dollar each. They were new and sealed, but they had like some tears and stuff and a little bit of like um, grime or something or dirt. It wasn't really a big deal. I was sort of contemplating whether I should open them and clean them up, but I decided I would rather just sell them as sealed. Uh, but yeah, the packaging wasn't really perfect. So paid $3 for these, sold them for 20 Time Life is a very nice collectible CD brand. You should check it out if you ever find them. I sold this door knocker. This is from that same collection from the first three that I showed you that were the light switch covers. This is by that same company, SPI. This is solid brass. Really great hummingbird door knocker. I actually love door knockers. This was very large also. I'm surprised I didn't put it with um, a tape measure or something. But anyway, this one's pure profit. Sold it for $40. I found these at a yard sale probably a year ago, and I thought that they were going to be big sellers. Turns out they're not, as you can see, but that's okay. They were in really beautiful condition. They're like this silky material. They have fringe on the sides. This one had like raised up uh, velvet or velveteen kind of thing. Such nice pillowcases. They were all 16 by 16. Maybe one thing that hurt the price is that I didn't iron them. I don't know. Does that look messy? Maybe. That might be the reason. But I don't think anyone else's were selling for much either. So it's okay. I probably paid a dollar each for these, and I was only able to get $13 for them, which is still good. I bought a lot of CDs and DVDs a couple of months ago now from a junk store, and I'm kind of winding down on that. I'm selling pretty much all the ones I have. This is the King family. And they had some TV specials out. I actually meant to watch these before I sold them because they look really super fun. Anyway, uh, paid a dollar each for those and sold the three of them as a lot for 25. I bought some vintage bras and girdles a few weeks ago at a yard sale. They were all in their boxes and they were new and unworn. So that came from this yard sale. I paid a dollar for this, sold it for 15. This item is from that yard sale where I bought the other new stuff, the light switch and the door knockers. This was the other thing that I got a lot of, some melamine stuff. Uh, and if you don't know what melamine is, it's like a sort of plastic so you can eat outside and stuff or on your patio or by your pool and you don't have to worry about them breaking. This is by uh, Michelle. That's probably not how you pronounce that. But this was just, yeah, from that yard sale. So this one is pure profit. This is a rare item. Tuscan Grove is the name of the pattern. So if you had this set, you know, and you didn't have this one bread bin, it was kind of a cool thing to, to have. And they don't make it anymore. So that's why I put a nice high price on this one. And I got it, sold it, this one for $90 already in the profit. Here's another CD from that junk store. This is by Peter and Gordon. This is not a twofer, it's a threefer. Look at that, three full length albums. And I think I keep forgetting, but a lot of the ones that I was selling from that junk store are Japanese pressings. And a lot of times those do sell for a premium. Now, if you don't know who Peter and Gordon is, 
Peter is Peter Asher. He went on to be a very famous record producer for Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor. But he got into the business because his sister, Jane Asher, was very, very famously engaged to Paul McCartney. So I think that helped him out, right? It's who you know. So this group, Peter and Gordon, really great collectible CD, sold this one for $25, paid $1. This vintage Barbie came from that estate sale with the dolls, the yarn, the video games. Oh, and we also got five pieces of gold there too. So pretty amazing. This is the one we're totally in the profit on for over $1,000 already. So how cool is this vintage Barbie? I believe it's from 1958. I'm not exactly sure. And I was really clear about not knowing that much about Barbies, but man, I knew this was really good. Her hair's in really nice condition. Look at that. She has that kind of iconic Barbie bathing suit on and she had a necklace and I put some of her clothes on and there it is. The dreaded, dreaded green ear. That's what killed the price on this. This would have sold for a lot more money. Look how nice her hair is. It's like somebody didn't even play with her. So then I took a picture of her with no clothes. Of course, the collectors want to see what the body looks like. You know, did a dog get to it or whatever? Something else that's important is to show the, uh, the nail polish on the fingers and the toes. Let me see if I did that. Yes. So that's why I took these fingers, toes. Of course, the butt is always where the mark is. It was very worn away with age. Um, but yeah, look at that awesome outfit. So this came with her original sunglasses and they folded up just like real glasses. They're pre pretty wild. Anyway, I just put these all together as a set, totally in the profit on this one, sold this one for $154.50, but wait, there's more. This one. So I think this one is probably uh, not as old, but just really not sure. This is also a ponytail Barbie. I just think her brown panties are adorable. I've never seen anything like that, but well, I don't know. I'm not like really a big Barbie person. I mean, I've sold them in the past. I've sold them this old before. I've actually had them this old in the box, uh, but look at this, another green ear. Womp, womp. So that's what is a bummer, but I know whoever bought these will know how to take that off, you know, uh, yeah, somebody had done something to her hair, as you can see. So there she is without clothes on. But she came with a necklace. And look at her in the clothes. Look at that. What an awesome dress that is. I love it. And the pearl necklace. Let's see if there was anything else. Oh, so she has her sunglasses too. See them? Oh, and she also had the black and white bathing suit also. And then on the right, there's a little um, pink kind of skirt thing that's also that was a slip actually like under things and that had a little bit of pro it needed like it just needed a few stitches not really a big deal so anyway totally on the profit uh in the profit on this one sold this for 106.83 really great price and these two barbies are from that same haul these are called twist and turn barbies i've sold these before i wanted to show them from the side to show that they had all their eyelashes Aren't these cool? So as you can see by their waist right there, they twist and turn. And they had their original clothes. Although, did something here have a problem? I think maybe. Yeah, see the elastic let go on the red pants. That happens sometimes with these old things. I don't know if it's dry rot or something, but there's another view just to show that their eyelashes were really great. So I only got one bid on these. I started them at 50 and I figured, well, if that's all I get, that's wonderful. So that's what we got. And that's wonderful. We decided to lot up all of these accessories together instead of trying to sell them individually and figure out what they all are. I don't know. You know, there's a telephone, two towels. There's actually a Barbie uh, shower cap, which is really cute. Shoes, boots, look, a hot water bottle and also like a powder See that little thing above that necklace, like a powder puff? Very adorable little item. So sold those for $48. Here's another Barbie. This one is much, much newer. Of course, this is called Tiny Steps. And I think the box, yeah, the box wasn't that bad. Last week we sold somewhere the boxes were kind of beat up. Uh, 
pretty nice box, but not really a very valuable one. So in the money on this and sold this one for $22.99. I don't remember where I bought this, but it is beautiful. It looked like real gold. I'll tell you that much. And it was in very nice condition also. I don't know why I didn't weigh this. I should have, because it actually had some nice weight to it. This is likely a reproduction of some famous sculpture or something. Just guessing, I don't know. So I'm sure that uh, I probably paid a dollar or two for this one and I sold it for 22. This came from the same estate sale where we got the dolls. When I see Funkos, I usually get them if they're cheap and this one was um, I think I mentioned it, right? I think we paid $300 for everything there. So we're just sort of lotting everything together and then they just gave us one price. But we did go back three times and we gave him $100 every time because they kept bringing more stuff out of the house. So we were kind of going back, you know, every <laughs> every few hours. So this box wasn't perfect. That's what hurt the price on this, but that's fine. Mighty Mouse Wacky Wobbler by Funko sold this one for 18 these antique cufflinks are the last items that I sold this time around. These are comma parts. That's what the mechanism is called, the snap part. And you can see right there by that picture how to break them apart. You can't like pull them straight apart. You have to like, uh, I don't know how to how to describe it, like go like like this to open them. And I bought these as part of a huge cufflink collection that I got all from the 1920s and earlier at an auction. So I'm already in the money on these items. This is by a company called Bear and Wild, B&W for short. And I sold these for 35. Well, that's all I have this time around. I'd like to thank you as always for coming. If you are a seller, I hope that this gives you ideas and I hope you find the same kind of stuff that you can flip for a profit. If you just came to hang out with me today, I truly hope you had fun. All right. I definitely had fun. Thank you so much for joining me. We will catch you soon. Cheers.